My name is Bunny Brown. I'm a radio announcer. On the radio, my moniker was Bunny Bubbling Brown Sugar. I have been a Seahawk fan for at least 20 years. I'm from a pretty famous family. James Brown, the godfather of soul, is my uncle. My father was uh, a disc jockey back with Wolfman Jack and the big boys way back in the day. I was a tomboy. I wanted to be like my dad. And uh, that's how I learned football. I would have Dallas Cowboys normally, Seattle Seahawks, and another one's Minnesota Vikings. People still like, why did you pick the Seahawks? This was the losingest team in the NFL back in those days, but I, I, I love Seattle Seahawks. I'm OCD and I love to dress, so I think the Seahawks outfits really had me going. <laughs> I didn't care if they won a game or not, they looked good. But now we're winning and we're looking good. My father was in a tragic incident in Beaumont, Texas. The police put a full Nelson on him and paralyzed him. He was a paraplegic. And I watched my father walk away that afternoon, never knowing that was the last time I would see him walk. It changed my family's structure. You know, my mom went from a nurse. I tried to become a little mom. Then I decided to be my dad. I'm gonna be the one to take his place. So I did everything my dad did. I went into radio, I won awards, I wanted to be him. All the things that you guys are seeing now has been happening so many other times, so many other places. I, I know it, I know it as a fact. I know it from experience. I went through it, it's real. It, it affects your life in every aspect. Once Katrina hit, you wondered about everything. I mean, house, pets, cars, recording studio, I lost everything. Hurricane Katrina was so horrific. Once we got away, my sister ended up in Boise, Idaho. I ended up in Houston, then Hurricane Rita hit. It displaced us all over again. And my sister and I, we looked at the map. She wanted San Francisco. I said, Let's try Seattle. I have always loved the Seattle Seahawks. We drove from Boise, Idaho to Seattle, and we never left. The point of the subject is, I became a Seattle Seahawk fan immediately. I put everything I had, all my emotions, because I had lost so much, I needed something to believe in. I was a 12 in 2012. That's when I became a diehard Seahawks fan. You know, when we won the Super Bowl in 2014, I was here. That was a joyous moment. That Super Bowl win turned my life around. And, and, and I know it sounds maybe strange, but it made me like, hey, I'm in a good place. I'm safe, I'm okay, and that meant the world to me. The Seahawks are the heart of this city to me. The snow has arrived and people are getting ready. You know, I lost my sister who I came here with uh, in the giant snowstorm of 2019. She was my business associate, she was my family, she was my best friend. When she passed over, I really had no reason to have joy. I could never have done it on my own. You know, I could never have gotten through that last trauma. You know, I've been through so much in my life and now I'm here, I'm here by myself, but I'm not by myself because because of the Twelves, because of people that I have met because of the Seahawks. Now I'm gonna start crying because you came here, but thank you.
My journey is not over. I really thought, hey, I'm done. It's over, but it's not. There's always a new beginning. And believing in the Seattle Seahawks made me focus on something totally different. As you can see around my teeny townhouse, I have everything says Seahawks. If sports could bring it together for me, bring me from a dungeon back to being a happy woman, with the NFL recognizing systematic racism, we can do this, guys. We can do this. We can beat COVID. We can go back to the stadium. We can cheer on the Seattle Seahawks and we can learn to love each other. That's what I want to see. You know, I think next year we're going to have a really, really, really good chance at going all the way. I really have a love for the team because once you gave me faith in myself again, I'm going to always have faith in you.